Welcome back, this is Joel Block and I want to get you ready and help uh, to create a tremendous exciting experience for you at our real estate uh, deal making symposium and syndication seminar which is coming up not long from now. Please check the bottom of the page for the date that it's coming into your area and the time frame for which it will be held. Again, I want to continue to answer some of the questions that are part of the booklet series that we're circulating to you at no charge. Whether you come to one of our programs or not, we want you to be sharp and smart about how the real estate syndication game works so that you can make as much money as you can make in the real estate business. And I always say that if cash is king, then pools of cash are nirvana. And that's exactly what you have to create, are pools of cash. So the next set of materials that we're talking about today, how do you choose the right kind of real estate for syndication? And the first question is what kinds of properties are best for syndication? Well, here's the thing you have to understand. Any kind of property can be syndicated, and this doesn't include only real estate. Yachts, airplanes, bridges, anything that you want to do can be syndicated. Syndication is a concept that means pooling capital for the purpose of buying assets. You can buy anything that you want, any time that you want, and any purpose is okay. So properties that have to be syndicated are just properties that are appropriate for pools of cash to acquire. And typically, that has a lot to do with buying properties that are going to be able to appreciate. Now remember, syndicators always take a piece of the activity, and they usually take some fees too. And what that means is that you as the syndicator, promoter, equity sponsor, or whatever you want to call yourself, somehow the quarterback of the deal, is going to take some interest in this property. That means you create some overhead for the deal. You have to make sure that you take a property that's sufficiently uh, got enough upside that there's going to be opportunity for you to take your piece and to take care of your investors as well. You can't buy property that doesn't have enough upside for both components. You actually have to buy properties that are better than if you're buying them for your own portfolio because of the amount of overhead that's going to be created by the syndicator. That doesn't mean you can't overcome the overhead. It just means that you have to be a better buyer than you did if you were buying on your own. And that's the reason that people will invest with you is because you, the professional manager, will be able to create more profit than they can create even with the overhead that you add to the deal. The next question that comes from our audience is how do you pick properties in a down market? Well clearly in a down market is exactly when investors need you the most. You have to be sharp and you have to certainly be sharper than everybody around you. And if you can use that expertise then you're going to have an easy time out picking other people who are in your marketplace. Use a formula that works for you. You have to make sure that you're not buying on an appreciation basis in a down market. Buy cash flow properties, buy distressed properties. That's the beauty of pools of cash. It enables you to buy properties that you wouldn't otherwise be able to buy at prices that you wouldn't otherwise be able to buy them. And other asset classes become available to you. Pools of notes, pools of real estate, distressed properties, empty properties. Make sure you have enough money to carry these properties so that you can properly rehabilitate them in the way that you see fit. And finally for today, how do you leverage land? Let me just tell you how. You don't. I never leverage land. I did it one time. It created lots of problems. We were paying interest and eventually we were depleting our funds. You don't want to have to raise enough money to service your debt. It's a losing proposition. Try not to get involved in a situation like that. Until our next uh, program, I'm Joel Block, and I hope that you'll be joining us shortly at our Real Estate Deal Making Symposium and Seminar Series. Thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you then.